Scorpio, hi. This is going to be your beginning of June reading. Um, so let's see, we're gonna start off with your past, present, and future, followed by some Oracle. No, followed by, we're gonna clarify them, and then we're gonna get into Oracles, and then from there we're gonna finish off your reading with some messages from your person, okay? So what messages do we have? So what's going on? Let's see, current energies for Scorpio. twice and it, they've been like it's been canceled twice like how does that happen right I see here in your recent past you're finding clarity about something okay there's a small offer that could have been made to you or you could have made an offer um, this also has to do with from a sincere source. Like this was like a sincere kind of like, maybe it was an apology, but it didn't really end well, right? Oh. So seven of coins, your hard work is paying off bottom of the deck so we're being hard at work right <laughs> putting effort into this relationship so you did have an offer okay you, you were thinking about an offer in your um, recent past um, but the thing is like you most likely you were kind of like petrified about it or not really you're kind of like shook and then you right now you decided to go into hermit mode Okay, um, you're trying to see like if this is going to be like the right decision to make. All right, um, <laughs> Scorpio, I do see that you came out in your reading. Obviously, this is, you know, it's like you're, it's a very strong reading for you. Um, I also see that Taurus is here. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, so with the Hierophant, is kind of like you're standing your ground with this and you're like, no, like this is going to happen and this is like how it is and this is like what it is like right now you're kind of being like stuck in your ways right um about this offer like how come you couldn't make this offer like earlier how come you didn't make this offer when we were together and this and that you know um <laughs> so right now the question is like why 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 i feel like this is putting like a lot of pressure and conflict on you right now Okay, um, for your near future. <sighs> so there's great news about something that's coming, right? Um, this is gonna be kind of like a secure kind of like decision that you're gonna make or they're gonna, um, uh, your person's gonna come and like, you know, um, not do for you but kind of like tell you like hey you know this is what's up right and then you guys are going to go from there because i do see there is going to be like a harmonious partnership that that is supposed to like derive from this right let's get some clarifiers out here yeah that clarity that clarity that you wanted <laughs> it was like very slow moving and um that clarity for like that little offer that you wanted was slow moving but when that offer came like it it was um it was very fast right thank you spirit yeah it could have been like you guys were lacking something there again with the page of cups there is something something was lacking in that offer that was being made to you
So you had to go in hermit mode, why? Because um, obviously you were just like at a conflict with yourself, with your mind, okay, with your emotions. Like you didn't know like how to take this like small offer. And it's kind of like, okay, so you tell me this now, like now that we're like, you, wow, now that we're breaking up, you tell me this now. Thank you, Spirit. But I do see you like you're standing your ground on this because um, the King of Wands does show up to where you are seeing the bigger picture about this, right? And although you could be like not really in your head, but it's kind of like um, you're seeing, uh, Spirit is helping you to see the bigger picture or you asked help from Spirit right now, like during these times, right? Um, Although you are uh, going through like all this conflict right now, make sure you are um, being protected, okay? Um, this also is like bringing you a lot of joy because it could be like where you're just getting all of that out of your head, right? Bottom of the deck, Leo. Could be dealing with the Leo strength card. Um. <laughs> yeah, so... In the near future, I do see here with the Six of Cups, this is definitely your past. Your person is coming back to you, but it all depends on like how the outcome in, is with like your current situation, right? How you're going to deal with it. Um, I do see that. Wow, there's a hermit mode again. That doesn't make any sense. So you have seen the light. So, okay, now I see it, now I see it. So I see here where you're coming out of hermit mode. Here in your current situation, you see where his lantern's not really lit because he's going out there to find his own solution. But here you see in the near future, you see where that his lantern's lit now. You have you have come into fruition into something, right? Like you had that aha moment. You're going to have that aha moment because here it's not lit and here it is, right? And that's gonna hold, that's gonna be good news to you because that's gonna give you like a sense of security, okay? And you're gonna uh, come back to um, you kind of being more like balanced between your head and your heart, I, I'm feeling, right? Um, also with this harmonious partnership that you wanna have, like this is this is death, right? It's something something new is happening, right? Something old is dying in order for something new to come in. Let's get some wisdom oracles. Yeah, I'll take those. So the first one that came out is truth be told. Okay, honesty. Honesty accepting things at face value. So again, like right now with the King of Wands, you are seeing the bigger picture, right? You're you're like not really all up in your head, right? You're not like, okay, you know what, like Maybe this offer, you know, was small, but maybe it had like a big meaning behind it, right? Time to go, okay? Competition and walking away. So you're most likely, or they're most likely walking away from like what doesn't serve them anymore. I feel like it's you, Scorpio. And I like that you came out in your reading twice. I really like that. Uh, chop wood, okay? Being grounded in everyday experiences. So in the past, you could have been like really like all over the place, but now you're being grounded, right? You're standing your ground, okay? You're like, again, I see here like, you're seeing the bigger picture, okay? So this could be the one this just like swooped out, right? This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So definitely your past, right? It could be where maybe you were thinking about other people. You're like, okay, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's George, Dick, and Sally, right? No, it's not. It's this person that you're thinking about. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, so there is still, you know, like, you guys still can, you know, build off of this, right? And, you know, and take this as possibly like a learning kind of curve, like a learning situation, right? You need a good fucking cry. 
So yeah, I don't see like any cups here. Yeah, none at all. So you're like hiding your emotions other than like that in your recent past, other than that like surprise that somebody gave you or that little offer, right? It's a little surprise. Get the ugly cry on, let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. You think someone is lying. Oh, they are. Okay, so this person could have been like, well, I don't care. You know, I don't care, whatever. You know, or they could be thinking that you're lying and you probably lied about something, right? Get the fuck outside, move your ass. Remember, you guys, we're out of quarantine, so it's time to get the fuck up. Your body is pissed at you. Gyms are reopening back up. Parks are opening back up. So what are you waiting for, Scorpio? Get out there, you know, take some fr get some fresh air. I feel like you're just like, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. Right. Let's get some messages from your person. Thank you. Oh, okay. Connect with me in the 5D. We are ignoring one another. Holy crap, what's up with all this ignoring? I've thought a lot about you lately. You are the best thing in my life. You were the best thing, I'm sorry. Don't give up on us. I feel like this is the same, okay. Be patient with me. You scare the shit out of me. <laughs> How could you still love me after all I have done? So, yeah, this person is like trying to be honest with you. You know, it could have been like a misunderstanding that you guys had, honestly, and it could have been worked out. I am awake and confused at the same time. We will be together again. Yeah, so definitely the, the feeling of being with one another is mutual. I can feel it. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. I can still feel you. Remember, you guys, they want you to connect with them in the 5D, okay? Although they might say like things differently out here in the 3D, like, I can't wait to love you. Yeah, so, you know, just think things through, right? Really, like, weigh the pros and cons out. That's what you want to do. I feel like you're going to be doing this, right? And it definitely has to do with this person that you have in mind. This is definitely your person that you're thinking about, okay? Remember, a death brings a new beginning. All right, Scorpio, hope this resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you soon.